Hey, Mike Callahan here. I had a question submitted uh, earlier this week, how to embed videos in your service autopilot forms. Um, so I wanted to actually show an example how to do that, as well as how to utilize that process to streamline your training with videos actually in service autopilot forms. So I'm not going to uh, get into the actual uh, ability how to automate this, but this is something that we've built in our company um, to automate all our training for our administrative staff as well as our field staff. So we're going to embed these videos. I'm going to show you how we actually did it in a lawn care example, but this works in lawn care as well as home cleaning. So I'm going to hop in here to service autopilot and show you what we've got. Uh, we want to go in and add a form here and there's several areas in this form um, that we are going to actually pull out and use. So uh, I'm going to actually start from scratch here, but I'm going to get this code here to show you how it's done. So first thing we're going to do is go in and add a form. And there's different things on the form settings that we want to probably do. So the first thing on form layout is we probably want to pull out our logo for branding. Uh, next thing is we want to basically go out and go to form setting and set the title and name. Um, so lawn mowing training and for the name here, uh, it shows up on the form. This could be lawn mowing training one of five. So, uh, basically we're going to have this here. First thing we're going to do is go into add a field right here and go into the help section. And once we're into the help section, under the help text variable, we're going to take the in, inline embed code from either YouTube or Wistia and paste that in. So that's what that is right there. This will not look like this once the video is published. Uh, next, we're going to go and add some fields in here. So maybe multiple choice. So we may go in here and actually create some different um, questions. So what safety equipment should you wear uh, when performing lawn mowing? So once we've got that in there now, uh, under selections we can put in maybe safety glasses, long pants, and all of the above. And I'll show you in the video where this may actually play in um, to this questioning. Uh, if you want to take this to the next level, what we can do is add a condition. And based on the answers, we could say add a condition. If it's equal to safety glasses, we can apply a tag. If it's equal to long pants, we can add a tag. Or all the above, which would probably be the right answer in this generic question, we could apply a tag. So based on different tag submissions, uh, when we build that automation, we can send them to the next training form based on them answering three to five questions per training video to make sure they understand and actually watched the whole entire video. So this is kind of the next level of this. Um, but once we get this in, so we've got the title, the logo, the actual video, and this here. Um, I'm not going to save this, but I have a pre-built uh, template that I've built with the same exact uh, code to show you what it actually looks like and how it plays in an essay form. Um, but this is how we're going to create a predictable training process for our admin. So we're basically going to be able to create a turnkey solution. So if we ever sold our business or fell ill and couldn't run it, um, this is the predictable workflow that we can create an essay to create a turnkey solution that we could potentially sell um, in the future. So I'm going to pull it up here. This is uh, the form itself. So I'm going to hit the publish button and this is what the version of it actually looks like. Um, I've got some different questions here, but uh, required safety equipment. Uh, this is a different version of that. You can see this actually plays. So what I recommend is we make these videos here. Uh, we've got an intro. It can be done on a Mac or a PC with free software, uh, but we're going to create video targets. So learn the parts of the equipment, proper use, and while operating. So these are the things we want them to pay attention to. Now we're going to go over in the beginning the uh, the personal safety protection uh, equipment, the PPE, and that is the first question. And if I had the volume on, you could actually hear me speaking. Um, but this actually plays live in a service autopilot form, and it's allowed us to create automated uh, training. So that's how to embed it. We take the embed code, stick it in the help tab, save it, and create some multiple choice questions to align with that. So if you have any comments or questions, drop them below. Um, but I wanted to at least take that question and answer it on the next level, how you can implement it with an example in Service Autopilot.